So, so let's talk about building a channel from scratch. Um, I did that beginning in 2008 uh, with Ruckus. Um, there, there's several things you have to do. First of all, you have to realize who's your end customer and how you're going to get there. Uh, distribution does not provide that solution. Okay, distribution is part of the supply chain that's going to get you to that end game. End users are going to typically going to buy from bars, resellers, integrators. At Ruckus Wireless, we work with all types um, from all walks of life, life in the IT space. We work with uh, voice integrators. We work with security VARs. We work with traditional network VARs. We work with customers that have a carrier heritage, companies like AT&T and CenturyLink. We work with hospitality service providers, companies like Guest Tech and IBM and Docomo and Swisscom. So we work with a whole variety of people. And let's not forget that channel that we know and love called DMRs, companies like CDW and Insight and PC Connection. So those are all the people that we have developed relationships with over the last six years because they all have reach into the end users that we want to get to. Because selling a wireless enterprise solution, our product goes into all types of enterprises from hotels to schools to grocery stores to coffee shops to warehouses to manufacturing facilities to outdoor venues from stadiums to racetracks, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, because people want wireless everywhere we go. So to reach all those bars and resellers that we work with, we, you know, we, have, we have to get there from a supply chain perspective. I certainly, as an early stage company back in 2008, or even now as a $300 million company, have the facilities and the resources to provide the credit facilities to, to support all of these people and the logistical back end to get products to them on a timely basis. That's where distribution comes in. Distribution is not, distribution does not reach out to end users. Distribution is a fulfillment mechanism to get you to your bars and integrators. They are part of the supply chain. They're part of your cost of doing business not your channel's cost of doing business, okay? It's not a cost savings to them, it's really a cost to you, okay? So there's not, if, if you didn't have distribution, that's not gonna be a cost differential to, to your channel. That distribution market today, I mean, I have a hundred, $150 million business in the Americas. In, you know, in the US, I use three distributors to support 90% of that business. In Latin America, I use two more distributors to support the other 10% of my business. So it's very refined. That provides credit facility and shipping to that channel. And then I develop programs to control how those distributors work with my channel partners. One of the things that we do to support our channel partners is we have something called deal registration. That any deal uh, that's over $5,000, our channel has to register. Our partner has to register that deal, has to be accepted to us for them to get the pricing to support that deal. That allows us to protect margin in, in the marketplace and pricing in the marketplace and, pro, and provide some protection of the investment that that channel partner has made in generating business with that end user customer. And then of course we have all the other sundry channel items like MDF to help develop business, uh, you know, training and all the things necessary to grow a channel. Today Ruckus has over 6,000 partners globally uh, that are reselling our gear, okay, through our authorized big dog program.